Parents of Reddit, what is the best weird flex but okay moment you've seen from your child? My 7 year old said I know everything until you ask me a question. Welp. Okay. My son. 4 at the time. Was, I guess, trying to impress the 6 year old neighbor girl. He leaned casually on his arm and said, I have lots of accidents. Pee and poop accidents. I hope for his sake his pickup lines improve. When I was 6 my absent father came back into my life briefly and I paraded him around all of my friends bragging saying this is my dad. I bet you thought I didn't have a dad. But I did. He was gone again within a month. Mayo. When my son was about 5 we went to visit relatives in the Washington, D.C. area. We were on the metro when my son eyed a very pretty professional young woman. I've got a lot of blocks. He told her, if you come to my room I'll show you. Then he made motorcycle noises for about 10 seconds. When I was an after school tutor for primary school kids, I excused a boy to the bathroom. He came back telling me he made the biggest poo in the world. He intentionally didn't flush so that I could come look at it. I told him that was great, but it was our time. He said his big poo was art. A friend of mine had two young boys, the older one, maybe five, was sitting with him and pointed at a white hair and said what's this papa? My friend said oh it just means I'm getting old and his son looked at him dead serious, looked at his brother and said well, I guess it's justice and mom soon, huh. My son started second grade this week. A couple of weeks ago the school sent out postcards with the date and time of the open house and his teacher's name. I asked him if he was excited to be in MRS, so and so's class, and he said yes, but he's also worried. I asked what he was worried about and he said what if she falls in love with me and wants to marry me? I laughed and reassured him that he need not worry, since she's already married. My nephew is 4 and thinks he's cooler than everyone else because he can tuck in his shirt by himself. Katie, you have to eat 3 more green beans before you're excused. No, no more. 3 more. I'm gonna eat 4 more. Oh no you got me good. My 6 year old son recently put his foot down letting me know it was not okay for me to tell him what he could wear or not because he is allowed to have his own fashion. Okay, fine. Shorts? Sandals and one black sock it is. Not a parent. But I teach swimming lessons. This one 5 year old first day of lessons was like. I'm not very good at kicking. So I said. That's okay. Nobody is perfect at everything. Dead serious he just goes. No. I'm perfect at everything. Not my kid. But a friend of mine was trying to teach his daughter to pick up her toys when she was younger. When she didn't do it one time, he told her he was going to throw away everything that was still on the floor. She picked them up and put them in the trash can for him. My 4 year old Henry was carrying a tub of Legos down the stairs. It was slightly heavy but he insisted on carrying it himself. He was struggling so I was walking slowly with him in case he fell. He says, through little 4 year old grunts, this box is heavy, I have to use Hungry powers. When my son was potty training, I started letting him do the cleanup. Then I'd have to finish. After a bit of this, he figured he was pretty well good to go on his own. And he was very big boy about it. So for the next couple of weeks, he'd do his thing, which always included stripping naked. Then come running out to wherever I was, bend over with his cheeks spread, and shout hey, mom, I wiped my butt all by myself look it. My 3 year old said to me the other day mom, I feel, and I don't feel, like some profound genius. My 10 year old son bragged the other day that his hair looked like Martin Freeman's, question mark what the duck? I was throwing my nieces in the pool and the 4 year old grabbed a pool noodle and looked right at me to say, today, you're gonna get hurt. Sassy niece after first day in school, I learned how to count to 11 today. I bet you can't. Weird flex but, wait, I indeed cannot count to 11 When my sister was younger she told her teacher that my dad was a clown. He actually owns an auto body shop but I guess she thought he was a pretty funny. Apparently the parent teacher conference was hilarious. Your daughter tells us you're a clown? What an 
interesting career. My son is a free runner in his spare time, so I often find him in weird places. He's 16 now, but even as a baby, I'd find him on top of the piano, at the top of the closet, etc. He could climb anywhere. Recently, I found him standing in the branches of a tree down the street, staring off into space. I asked what he was doing, and he said, I'm just hanging out. Okay, man, whatever works for you. Had an amber alert hit my phone one night while my then 6 year was playing a game on it. She asks what that was and I explained it's a message that gets sent out of a kid gets kidnapped. She looks at it again and sees it's for a town over 2 hours from where we live. She then asks me why they sent her if it's so far away. I said because they want everyone to look and find the kid. Wouldn't you want everyone to look if you got kidnapped? They want to find the kid so they don't get killed. She leans over close to my ear and whispers I'm very difficult to kill. My 5 year old son woke up with his voice hoarse from a cold. Me. Oh. You've got a cold. Him. Solemnly. No. I think I'm a man now. I ran around telling everyone I was the most beautiful girl in the world. I even told my mom's friend that Shirley Temple was almost as cute as me. Used up all my confidence at 3. My 10 month old son hates being changed. Recently he figured out that if he grabs his balls in a death grip with one of his hands, it makes it impossible to get the diaper on him. I die a little inside every time he does this. Not a parent but when I was little I had a child therapist and I told her very happily and even in a bragging tone that I was only 8 years old and I already had a training bra and I remember her just looking at me for a while and going, okay. I was playing cops and robbers with my son and my niece, both about 3 at the time. They put me in the jail, the sofa, and proceeded to walk out of the room. As she's exiting, my niece turns to me with a deadpan face and goes, more than watch your back, then just leaves. I remember being about 6-8 and bragging to multiple strangers about how my older, red-headed and white sister, for context I was a little brown-haired, brown-eyed, brown-skinned child, was my full-blooded sister but had a different last name because I thought it was a cool fun fact about my family. Turns out she was a half-sibling and nobody told me until I was older. My 5 year old talks to all of the animals, they're all her friends. She literally names every creature she sees in a day. See a moth? Oh. That's Stella. My moth friend. A bird? That's Jake. My bird friend. He's on his way to his grandma's. A rattlesnake? Don't kill it. Mom. That's Jenna. She's a nice protector snake. No. She won't go near it. She's smarter than that. Just really weird. She's also insists that she's a super kid, with batteries for everything. Doesn't wanna eat anymore, my food battery is full. Doesn't wanna go to bed, my sleep battery is full. And she shows you where these batteries are, one on her leg, another on her neck. I'm starting to wonder if I was abducted. I'm 11 years older than my little brother and when he was 4 he went around the entire neighborhood and wrote his name on everyone's garage doors in really big letters with a permanent marker. While babysitting my cousin, she got really close to me and smelled like rotten eggs. So I asked her if she farted and she immediately replied no. That's my brief. At least she's self aware. I am the child here, but when I was maybe 3 or 4. I took a dump that was green which was quite exciting to me at the time. I went and told my mom. I just had a poop that was green. And she just told me next time make me a blue one. Tonight my 3 year old stopped midway up the stairs and turned slowly to me and said. Mom. Earlier. While you were out. Capital I. Put. On. My. Pants. All. By. My. Self. Double quote. I have no idea why he emphasized every word. But then he smirked and turned and kept climbing the stairs. Big day. The kid is really going places. My son, who was 4 or 5 at the time, walked into the kitchen and said to my wife, give me my usual, but put it in a real glass. She's like, what, your milk? It was then we realized we had to rain in the iPad and curse of Monkey Island. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind internet stranger. My daughter had a paper from school that she brought home. 
On the paper it said if I had a million dollars I would. And all the kids had to put their answer. My daughter wrote that she would pop out her eyeballs. When I asked her about it later she explained how she wanted to pop out her eyeballs and replace them with chocolate eyeballs. My 8 year old son's doctor was trying to make him comfortable during an EKG by telling him he had to leave his ear with the doctor. They went back and forth for a while and finally the doctor said he would trade him the ear for a lollipop. My son said he would not give up his ear but wanted the lollipop. The doctor said, what, that is not a fair trade, what will you give me for the lollipop? My son answered dead serious. I get the lollipop and you get my respect. While singing to myself, my two year old told me, Daddy, stop, no singing, you sing wrong, listen me. My little boy is extremely proud of his ability to get the automatic soap foam dispenser to form our registered sign shaped form on his hand. My son let out a high pitched screech while playing a video game. Told him dude, knock it off. A few seconds later I heard him whisper, it's my battle cry. When my daughter was I think 8, we were in the pool throwing a beach ball around. I tossed it to her. She catches it then says to me is that all you've got, old man, lol. My 3.5 year old outside the other day, he was stabbing the ground with a stick. I asked, what you up to, buddy, I'm digging holes for the ants to climb into. That's so sweet of me, mom, he's a nut. When my brother was 2 or 3 he rolled down the car window to get the attention of the gas station attendant and shouted hey mister, I got a D, he had a mullet, if that helps paint a better picture. So, my 7 year old has always been, eccentric. I started keeping a log of some things she says in passing on my phone when she was 3 and there are some good ones I feel apply to this thread. Something smells like chocolate and it's coming from the inside of my mouth. Yeah well I can read blank spaces. Chickens have chicken in their bodies. Most of these are responses to her older sister bragging about something she did to excel in school. Not a parent. But as a kid. I apparently drank vinegar straight. He told me I don't need history classes because I know that Hitler got shot in the balls. When my son was about 6, he was in the backseat with a friend. And he boasted that he had once thrown up his entire Chinese dinner on his bedroom carpet and you could see the food and everything. My wife brought my 3 year old son to my job site, since he really wanted to drive the excavator. So my uncle, who operates the excavator, lets him dig some holes and play around while sitting on my uncle's lap. He then comes up to me and says, Daddy I want to drive the excavator with you. I told him I don't know how to, you have to go with your uncle. His reply, it's okay daddy I'll teach you, with the biggest smirk on his face. My son was watching me cut down a very small tree, like, 6 inches across, very small, and the following occurred. Son, wow, I've never seen someone cut down a tree that big before. Me, well, I mean, you've only seen one person cut down a tree so far, but you've only been alive for 5 years, so give it time. Son, excuse me, I've been alive much longer than that. Me, oh yeah, how long have you been alive then? Son, 10,000 years. Me, you know, I actually don't doubt that. He's a treasure. When my kids was potty training, he was in a phase where he loved temporary tattoos. We used tattoos as a reward for a successful potty trip. He got so he was covered on both arms, back and chest. He didn't think much of it living in Seattle, until one summer day we took him to the wading pool, for one of the first times in public, we took his shirt off, and he strode out into the pool with his toddler abs, and Thomas the tank train shorts, looking like he had just finished a hard set of reps at the free weights in the prison yard. Just a couple days ago, my two year old son woke up so I went to change him, I pulled his jammy pants off, then went to undo the diaper. And the whole time he has this look on his face like he's waiting for something. I pull the diaper off the front of him and bonding he's got a boner. He even smiled big and threw his arms up at the moment of reveal. Like T-A-D-A-A-A-A-A. When I wasn't appropriately amazed and merely continued with changing him. He pointed at it and said. Loudly and forcefully. That's mine. Yes. My dear. That is your D. Congratulations. 
I flipped my aunt the bird telling her it was okay because I still had my thumb up and out. I used to tell people that when you go through a puberty your testicles morph together to become one big testicle. Edit. OMG balls. My 7 yo daughter didn't want our house guests to go in her room because that might see her awards, good grades, taekwondo belts. She worried they would think she was famous. Was running behind for work today and the young one told me she had to poop. I asked if she could hold it until daycare, 2 minute drive. She said no. She wasn't lying. She had already pooped. As I was asking. It was on the kitchen floor. My daughter. 3. Can poop in the backyard without anyone knowing. I picked it up for weeks wondering why the dog's poop looked so weird. I looked out of the sliding glass door one day while my girls were playing. I saw my 3 year old pooping in the middle of the yard. Her older sister. 5. Sprayed her with the water house as soon as the log hit the ground. It was a spectacular scene. And I will never let them forget it. My kid's an arrogant little smartass. So he has a few. But one that sticks out. Was when he was 7 years old and trying to explain the concept of the largest known number to a fellow martial arts student. My kid said something about googleplex. Then turned to classmates dad said. That's google to the google power. Which means giggle times giggle. Since you probably didn't know, it was so hard not to laugh as I explained why that was not an acceptable thing to say. Ha ha ha. Not a kid but when I was 5, I had a mad crush on the 20 yo. Daughter of this wealthy family friend of ours. I had asked for her hand in marriage and she agreed willingly. Playful to her but fully serious on my part. She was carrying her soon to be groom when her mother confronted me. You need to have money if you want to marry my daughter. I looked right into her eyes and without missing a beat reached into my little pockets and tossed her a penny. Her face priceless. My smirk flawless. My game never peaked again. My son will it in the shower just to watch me have to clean it up. I can fit two popcorn kernels inside there. His foreskin. He managed to fit two popcorn kernels under his foreskin. He was four at this time. Not my child. But a friend seven year old. We were talking about golf and he told me that he can drive the ball 1000 plus yards but we can't see it because the simulator glitches whenever he does it. My daughter told me she is made out of love. Which I have told her before. And that means she is invincible and so I can't hold her hand whilst she walks on the wall. Which I have not told her. Obligatory not a parent disclaimer. When I was in kindergarten, one of the boys came up to me and said, I'm so strong I brush my teeth without water. It's always stuck with me because I was genuinely impressed. I ran around all day sharing the news as if it were some miraculous superpower or something.